Another blistering day in the Missouri summertime. Today's August 1st. It's probably one of the hottest days of the year so far. But uh, got to do the load of wood. Have to stack that up. Another 30 pieces coming off the trailer, which is attached to the family truckster, which has a little sticker for everybody in the family. <laughs> I think, actually, I think we're short a couple stickers now. We're going to unload this and start building. Our next five floor joists and start hauling them up there. Do a little more video after we get a few more of those up there and we see how it's all starting to come together. More details to come. And it's the Trias Treehouse continued. Got some more detail done. I've added down here, I've got the shimming. I took some detail in there. Each one of these boards only took a single piece of 2x4 to shim it out. So I attached that shim, a couple nails, and side pieces to hold it on. And then I measured between the top of the 4x4 four four corners here, but right up at the very top to see what it was where the joist was installed. I took that measurement and I cut a piece of wood right here, 15 inches, and I nailed it in place so that it will help stabilize the bottom and keep these legs from flipping out one side or the other of the tree. So. This is pretty much complete as far as the structure of two braces and the separation at the bottom, the joist on the top, and I added some more nails on the top to hold it together. More details to come. I am now standing, yes, standing very carefully on top of the first joist. Got the second joist in also. Had a little trouble with keeping my design standardized, so I didn't make the shape of that thing quite right. So the outside's lined up pretty good, but the inside is going to have to be like this design first of all. And I had problems with my angle, I'm losing some angle. So I have a slight, the, the weight, the bearing weight will be on that piece still, but I need to make the smaller next piece a little bit, a little bit smaller in its dimensions. These cross pieces need a little bit, a little bit smaller, so that they actually fit correctly. I'm exceeding my. Right here, I have two pieces now that should total 120 degrees. I think I've exceeded that slightly, and/or I just needed to move that out a little bit further from the tree. I think I started a little too close to the tree, so I'll have to compensate a little bit and uh, and see what happens. Kind of scary. There's the ladder of death. My feet hovering above it, hanging onto the cables, which are right there over the tree. And this is me with sweat in my eyes, and it's time to go eat dinner. More details to come. Well, we're up to three joists now. Oh, one, two, and three. You can see the basic idea we have going on here, and uh, it's not exactly the way I planned it to go, but it's fairly close. It's not too bad. It definitely could have been worse. You can see, if I hold this back enough, that this joist does not run exactly straight into that one, so I've overshot my angles a little bit. So the next floors I make will have to have slightly shallower angles for them to work. So. Pretty close, but we're off by about five degrees. So, some minor adjustments to come. But uh, it's getting dark, there's lots of mosquitoes. I'm tired and I'm hot, more details to come. And I want to include a shot from the ground. There's one, two, three joists in place. And all the supports have been leveled. All four of these supports have been leveled, only two more to level. And I still need to apply the final shims and tie those bottom pieces together on these two. But uh, but they're up and uh, it's coming together slowly but surely. <laughs> More details to come.